Can Do Cow Kids, written by Amanda Racky. Howdy, my name is Cassidy and this is my brother Cody. We are Can Do Cow Kids. Our family lives on a cattle farm and today our mom and dad woke us bright and early to go check our cattle in the pastures. Even our baby brother gets to tag along. It's going to be so much fun. Would you like to come with us and learn how to be a can-do cow kid too? You bet! So you might be wondering what what's a can-do cow kid anyway? A can-do cow kid never gives up. No matter what, we may be small, but can-do cow kids have big dreams. With hard work and a positive attitude, we believe we can do anything. We are proud as a punch to be a can-do cow kid, and now it's time to start your training to become one too. If you are ready for an adventure, give us a big loud yee-haw! Yee-haw! A big storm passed through the farm last night, so there are plenty of chores to do around here. Can-do cow kids are always ready to tackle tough jobs. We will show you the can-do cow kid way. If you are ready, just slip on some boots and slap on a hat. Let's get to work. To kick off your can-do cow kid training, mom and dad have a list of jobs for us to do on the farm. Farmers and ranchers are responsible for taking care of the land and the farm animals. Today we are going to help our mom and dad do just that. Our parents always remind us that when we grow up, we could become farmers and ranchers just like them. And we always say, of course we can. We are can-do cow kids. The first thing we need to do is help our parents check to make sure our cattle are safe and sound after last night's big storm. Dad says it rained cats and dogs, which I think is a funny way of saying the farm got lots of rain. Beef cattle producers must work in all types of weather, rainstorms, blizzards, and even hurricanes. It's our responsibility to keep our livestock happy and healthy, even when it's not very nice outside. Now that the storm has passed, we need to look over the cattle, fences, crops, trees, and take care of any problems that might have blown in with the storm. But first, before we do all that, let's splash in the mud puddles. Just a quick jump or two, okay, mom and dad? Stomp, splash, stomp. Boy, jumping in the mud was a lot of fun, wasn't it? The ride out to the pasture was beautiful, too. We are pretty lucky to get to spend the day outside on the farm, don't you think? Now let's see how the cattle are doing after the storm. Cassidy, the calves are sure looking big, aren't they? Soon, a trucker will haul the calves to town in a big rig to sell at livestock markets. An auctioneer will take big bids from cattle buyers and the highest bidder will purchase the calves. These calves will get a new home with a stalker or a feeder who will feed them grass, hay, and corn as they grow. Cody, when we grow up, maybe we could become truckers, auctioneers, cattle buyers, stockers, or feeders. You bet we can, Cassidy. We are can-do cow kids. Hey, Cody, check out the fields over there. Look how fluffy the cotton is and how big the ears of corn are. Soon the crops will be ready to harvest. In the fall, producers gather forages to feed their cattle throughout the year. An agronomist sells seeds that will grow well in our soil, and a nutritionist plans a healthy diet for our cattle using these crops. Both agronomists and nutritionists rely on their math skills to calculate the correct number of seeds for the field and the pounds of feed for the cattle. Cassidy, how cool would it be to become an agronomist or a nutritionist? Do you think we could do it? You bet we can, Cody. We are can-do cow kids. Hey, Cassie, do you hear that? The cows are sure making a ruckus. Moo! I wonder what the matter. Let's help mom and dad count the mama cows and the babies. Oh no, it looks like we are missing a few calves. What should we do? What would a can-do cow kid do? 
Look over there, I found the calves, Cody. They are in the cornfield. I bet they couldn't resist the delicious golden kernels of corn. I wonder how they got in the field, though. Well, Cassie, our fences are strong and there's plenty of grass out here to eat to keep the animals safe and the crops from getting trampled. Our cattle need to stay in the pasture where they belong. Don't worry, Mom and Dad. We will figure out how the calves got into the cornfield. Will you help us, too? This will be your first task in your can-do cow kid training course. How do you think the cattle got out? Let's look for some clues. How about the gate? Did we forget to close it, Cody? No, the chain is latched and the gate is locked up tight, Cassidy. Well, that means they didn't get it out through here. How else do you think they got into the cornfield? Think, think, think. Let's check the fence next. Did the wire break somewhere? I'm not sure, Cody. We better walk along the fence and check things out. Cassie, what if the cows were trying to jump over the moon and they managed to jump over the fence instead? No, that's silly. What else could it be? Do you have any ideas? Cody, look over there. A tree branch fell and pushed the fence down. I bet the wind knocked it over in the storm. The cattle must have walked right through the opening to get to the corn. How do we get them back in? Our parents say this is a big job and it will take teamwork to round the calves up again. Will you help us too? It may not be easy, but a bunch of can-do cow kids like us can do it. Giddy up, let's go. Well, it took a few tries to gather the missing calves, but they are finally back in the pasture with their mothers and are happily munching on gra green grass once again. I knew we could do it. Good work, can-do cow kids. Now that the cow herd is back together again, we notice a few of the calves have runny noses. As summer fades to fall and the air gets cool and crisp, sometimes cattle can get the sniffles, just like kids do. When a calf is sick, we call our cow doctor a veterinarian who helps us make the calves feel better. Plus, with regular herd checkups with our veterinarian, we keep our cattle happy and healthy all year long. Cody, I bet we could become veterinarians one day too. We absolutely can, Cassidy. We are can-do cow kids. Now that we have identified the problems, let's work on the solutions. Mom is going to call a veterinarian to schedule a checkup for the calves. Dad is going to haul away the big tree branch and patch up the fence to keep the cattle safe in the pasture. Of course, we will supervise to make sure the job gets done just right. With a little teamwork, this won't be hard at all. One, two, three, four, and five wires strung. We are done. Hooray! Now that the fence is fixed, Dad points to the grass. It's still dewy from the rain. He tells us to look a little bit closer. What do you see, Cassidy? I see different types of grasses and pretty wildflowers, too. Dad says to part the grass and look below. What's down there? There's so much life in the grass, Cody. Our pastures are home to earthworms, bees, ants, butterflies, and tiny bugs. Mice, rabbits, deer, and foxes live here, too. Mom said that's a great sign of a healthy landscape. Cattle grazing promotes new grass to grow, which helps both wildlife and livestock thrive. Wow, cows are amazing. With the help of a conservationist, farmers manage their pastures and fields to promote healthy soil to grow, food for us to eat. Thanks to research from agriculture scientists, we know exactly how to care for our land to benefit the world now and a hundred years from now. By using our land, water, and natural resources wisely, farmers can protect our planet and nourish hungry people too. Cassie, maybe when we grow up, we could become agricultural scientists or conservationists. Of course we can, Cody. We are can-do cow kids. Boy, the family ride through the pasture turned out to be a really fun adventure, don't you think? We are sure glad you came along to help us out. I don't know about you, but Cassidy and I are getting pretty hungry after our big day on the farm. Let's head back to the farmhouse and make some delicious and healthy beef pizzas for supper. Would you like to join us? The food is great and the company is even better. Let's eat. Now that supper is done and the dishes are washed, it's time to get ready for bed and hit the hay. Looking back on our fun day on the farm, it was sure a busy day, wasn't it? We moved the missing calves back into the pasture. We hauled away the fallen tree branch and patched up the fence too. We even scheduled an appointment with our veterinarian who will keep our herd healthy. 
Mom and Dad are so proud of all the hard work we did today. You Can Do Cow Kid training is now complete. Congratulations. Now that you are a can-do cow kid just like us, we can achieve all of our goals if we set our minds to it. There are so many fun and exciting beef careers to explore. Someday we all became some day we could all become farmers and ranchers, truckers, auctioneers, cattle buyers, stockers, feeders, agronomists, veterinarians, agriculture scientists, conservationists, and so much more. And all we need to do is succeed is have a cow kid attitude. Work hard, dream big, and never give up. The possibilities are endless. So choose the path that makes you happy and go for it. Anything is possible. You know why? Because we are can-do cow kids. That's why.